Okay, so let's get started. Always start with that big shape. That's the way I do it. I've got this big football shaped head um, and I'm going to start breaking it up. Really, I mean, it was just kind of this head, this little body, um, and then lots of details going on inside of there. My wife and I at night, we like to watch documentaries as we kind of fall asleep, things like that. Just really enjoy them. Nature documentaries are a lot of fun. If it's narrated by David Attenborough, we just dig it. Um, so watch a lot of those. So a lot of things about animals I think are real fun. And lately, last night, we watched one that had these puffins in it, these Arctic puffins. And just such a cute little bird. They've got that that cute, fun little beak. So I wanted to just do a cute little puffin today, you know, just something real, real basic. I wanted it to be very simple. I like this big head versus this medium body versus these teeny little legs. I like that shape. I like what's going on there. So just wanted to highlight that and then just start playing around with it. So what you see already is just kind of already there for what it's going to be. And the rest of it is just going to be details. Puffins are kind of nice. I talked last week or two weeks ago about the panda thing that is kind of nice because pandas have that dark versus that white, the black versus the white. And puffins and penguins are, are very similar to that, which is really kind of nice. You can have some fun with the design elements of it. You can frame that eye, kind of create kind of an eyebrow shape just by where the dark is above it and then below it. So really built in some really nice design choices going on there. Also with this one, I'm going to be able to do a lot of different shading and things because I've got, there you see, I'm starting to shade in the top of the head. You can see that eyebrow line coming up, a bit of differentiation in that beak. I like puffins because they have like those separate colors and things on the beak, kind of a toucan type of thing, much smaller. Um, anyway, so going in on this guy, they have this fun cheek. I really kind of looked at some reference for this one, which is a really good idea. Uh, sometimes I'll look at other people's drawings and that inspires me to do something. Sometimes I'll look, you know, I'll watch a documentary. Sometimes I'll find just a picture of something. Sometimes it's just a shape in my head. Um, this was kind of a mix of a bunch of those things. I looked at some puffins and decided that I wanted this type of shape. I wanted him to be doing something. So I gave him the little fishing pole. Um, I wasn't sure exactly what to do with him. I knew I just wanted a puffin. So Give them the little fishing pole. Normally they fish with their beaks. This guy's got a little fishing pole. Uh, so going in, building up those layers, like the dark, the black feathers that he's got, I'll go over three or four times just to make sure that it's looking good. You know, so that way I'm working dark to light. Uh, that way, you know, any mistakes that I have, hopefully, you know, they're light enough and back enough that you don't really see them and it just creates a nice drawing. Um, then I can always just go in and just make it darker. It's kind of why I like these red pencils too. The light is really light on these red pencils and the dark, I can get some nice dark lines that I really rather enjoy. Um, I've drawn in some different colors before, like a lot of them. The red is just kind of something that I've gravitated towards. I just like the warmth of it and how it looks. Um, so that's just kind of been my thing. I'm going in here now and just finishing up the shading on that arm. You know, just going through. Like I said, this one's pretty simple. Um, lots of big shapes. You can even see that the head is broken up between you know, there's that big shape, that cheek eye area that's really big. And then the beak is broken up to slightly medium shapes. And you have the small eye, you know, just all these different things. You want to break it up so that it's just nice and balanced overall. I don't want things appearing too even, too uniform in there. Going in, just adding this little ice break, this little ice hole that he has dug so he can fish into it. Um, but yeah, just going in with these little final little details here finishing up, darkening some of these outlines. But yeah, after that initial drawing, it was all just outlines and making it a bit darker, light to dark, things like that. So hope you enjoy. I think this guy's pretty close, pretty fun. Um, again, if you want anything to, to be drawn, just put it in the comments and I'll see what I can do. But other than that, this puffin is just about done. Thanks for watching today's drawing. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and leave a comment at the bottom if there's something specific you want to see drawn, and maybe it'll make it into a future video.